Hey folks, can you believe it is Friday already? And I want to welcome you back to Money and Politics. And it's a big news day, and I'm sure a lot of you already know most of the news. I trust that you've watched uh, a lot of the interview, or the whole interview, I should say. Interestingly, it was only a four-minute interview that uh, Brian Foote had on Fox Business News, and that's really not unusual. And uh, I don't know about you, but I thought he did a really good job. I tweeted as much. You know, anytime you do anything, and I often look at my own videos after I do it. In fact, I do most of the time. I know Thomas, when I've had him on, he's reviewing uh, what he said and how he said it. And you can always find something you can say better. Excuse me while I got a little something in my eye. Uh, but I thought Brian Foote did a very good job and uh, was succinct, uh, gave short answers, <laughs> succinct, uh, which is good. Uh, when you have these four-minute interviews, they're going to go by lickety-split. And it's really good to try to just go bang, 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 and to try to give it answers as quickly as you can. So I think he did a great job. Um, and, you know, I know, you probably know from trying to tell our friends about Humble, and they go, well, what is it they do? And you say, you, you know, <laughs> you you find yourself talking for the next five minutes because it's hard to compen uh, com <laughs> it's hard to, it's been a long day, folks. I've really been jamming all day long. Compartmentalize uh, what it is that Humble does. And it does so many different things that you can find yourself, as I say, talking for eight to 10 minutes when people were probably wanting an answer that might have been 20 seconds. So anyway, it's a long way of saying that I thought Brian did a good job. Now, also, you remember last time uh, when he was on CNBC and the stock fell, uh, we see here that, well, nope, it didn't fall. And it uh, had a pretty good day up 9.15%, up another 13 cents. So that's it on the day. And here we are over five days, up and down. Uh, but we see the more pronounced growth over the last, when we look at the month chart, and we are, again, where the bottom was uh, May 20 here at 76 cents. So we're up, uh, what, 100% from that time? And had a little bit of a dip yesterday. You know, my thought on this, and perhaps yours too, is this is not, um, this is not anything that's that all that surprising. It, it is something that, again, I've been trying to say all spring, as I said the other day, and what Brian Foote has said is that it's a brand new company and they're trying to build out the company. So we have to remember what stage, as I say, this is a rocket, but what stage are we in? We're still in the first stage here. We're, you know, we're, we're taking off. We're getting the lines together. Uh, I do have two uh, bites here I want to share with you. Hopefully you've had a chance to watch the interview. If not, when it happened, then online. But let's take a listen to, uh, to what uh, Brian said uh, in this first bite. But what Humble is doing is sitting over the top of those technology innovations and packaging them up for the customer, not unlike what Netflix did with content or Amazon right. did with e-commerce. So, uh, you know, I, I think there there is his presentation was good. I think he, uh, you know, got to the point. And uh, before we leave that, let me have one more bite here that I pulled out of the four minute just to Two quick ones. This is a short nine second uh, bite. We have a great team around us. We're well capitalized. We're achieving some M&A goals that will help us grow faster. Um, and we take it very seriously. So leave a comment and, and tell me what you think. What was your reaction? What do you think about how he did? The, uh, the one thing I thought uh, he might have done a little different when he was talking about the uh, NFTs, is he had the jerseys behind him prominently posted, the football jerseys, and I think he forgot to mention, and he might have he might have brought that in, uh, you know, why were they there, and they brought up uh, Athletes First deal that he did, and how that was going to lead to the NFTs. He could have said that. Uh, I don't 
it's a mild criticism. Uh, it just, you know, you can always say something a little bit better. And that was, I thought, kind of a little bit of a, maybe a glaring omission. So if he erred, he erred on what he didn't say, not so much on what he did say. The other thing which was kind of interesting is another analyst afterward, and I don't know who the name of that analyst, I've forgotten his name, but he was asked by Charles uh, Payne, there are so many of uh, these uh, companies out there that are being heavily shorted, and we've seen what happened with the, some stocks like AMC and others, uh, how they can go bouncing high. And the guy goes, well, I like Humble. You just had the CEO on. They're heavily shorted, as Charles Payne brought up. And uh, it goes, you know, they had a high of uh, close to seven uh, on the year, and I think that they could go much higher. So, you know, that's interesting. And in the larger context, why I think this is a big positive for Humble and Humble stockholders, you might remember uh, in an interview we do with Thomas, my son Thomas, uh, not the last one, but a couple uh, back. And he goes, nobody knows who Humble is. And we forget that. And I've pointed it out before that when I'm doing the talks on Humble and we kind of you know, follow each other on Twitter and we talk about Humble Nation, that... Uh, you have to remember that there's a whole big world out there that doesn't know about Humble, and it's such an interesting story, and uh, this is a great opportunity for Brian to get on uh, Fox Business News with Charles Payne. And by the way, I mean, Payne was, I thought, great, as I expected him to be. Uh, as I say, this is why I say he's solid. He asks good questions. He's done his homework. I thought it was interesting. I'm looking at my notes here. Uh, one of the things Charles said is that he listened to the investor call of Humble. And he knows that it's got a big following, big loyal following. So that's good. He's really uh, been, been following up. Um, also, the big news for the day, which Brian did bring up, is the uh, tickery we've talked about, but the completion of the tickery acquisition. So big news on Humble in one day. And look, a press release. <laughs> As you know, I've kind of that was one of the things I was critical of. So, you know, we're we're all making improvements here, and more evidence that humble uh, after a furious first quarter is uh, catching up and getting to some of these things. So, uh, humble today announced that his complete acquisition of Tickery, a leading Latin-focused ticketing platform. The purchase price uh, was paid with a mix of debt and common stock for a total of twenty million dollars. Uh, Humble will be working to deliver ticketing, peer-to-peer -peer remittances, and mobile pay services to Latin American customers, fitting seamlessly across existing tickery platform and plans for mutual international expansion. So, one more good piece of news. And where are we going on the stock price? Well, you know, what I often say is uh, we have no crystal balls, and that's just a given. And I, uh, I think what we can expect is as we look to the future, uh, we're going to see, by the way, I meant to point out here, we had 16.6 .6 million shares traded today, a good strong number. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so where are we going? Um, who knows? But I would say we can go forward, I think, with a lot more reasons to be positive. Um, and we see that, as we see right here, with uh, Tickery being, uh, the acquisition being done, with the ETXs that have come out, uh, with the app that's out, the app is still needs a whole lot of work, folks. I'm not saying it's great. <clears throat> I'm just saying it got out. That they've been a very busy team, as uh, Brian Foote mentioned, I'm sorry, I don't have a drink of water I need. That um, I think we have real reasons to be very positive for the future. And uh, if I were guessing, you know, I think, imagine if by December we're at $5. I know a lot of you are going to go, $5? Come on, man. Uh, you know, we're going to be a lot higher than $5. 
I'm, I can just hear a lot of you saying that. But um, even at $5, folks, that's going to be over three times more than your current value uh, right now. Don't forget, if you, if you want to uh, write, you can write me at uh, moneyandpoliticsnow at gmail. You can always follow me, uh, if you don't already, on uh, tweet. Uh, what I got tickery in my mind on Twitter. And again, leave me a comment, if you would, under the video uh, on what you think how Brian did. Uh, and if you want, it'd be kind of interesting. Uh, tell me where you think the stock price will be in December, and then we can maybe do a follow-up, and I will do a follow-up and share some of that information. You know, what's, uh, what none of us knows, right? But uh, I'd like to know what the expectations are. I mean, for some of you, if you're saying 50 bucks, folks, that, that's not going to happen, you know, if you're going to say it's just to the moon. Um, so I'm saying... Hey, you know, I could see going to five. Could I see going a bit higher? Yeah, I could see going a bit higher. Depends on a variety of things. Depends, obviously. We have to, as I said before, get the earnings, uh, which will be coming up maybe roughly about a month from now for the second quarter, sometime in July. And then we'll get the earnings in October. And then by that time, uh, by the time we get to December, we will have had a whole lot done. We'll have had the majority of one year under our belt of laying the foundation for growth and then uh, initial growth in these platforms. And we'll see, you know, what's working. We'll see what's not working. Some things are going to have to be tweaked uh, along the way. But nonetheless, I think we have reasons to be pretty positive. Um, we are having great weather in the Midwest. Uh, heat is on the way, if you like heat. Uh, so in some parts of the country, including the Midwest, we're going to have our first heat wave. So that's a way of just saying I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I got a couple of interesting interviews I want to line up here, and we'll be bringing those to you hopefully in the near future. And we'll keep uh, looking at Humble. And as I've said before, now that my time is uh, just starting to free up here, uh, that uh, we're getting done with the uh, the legislature ended on the, the, the end of May. Uh, I want to spend a little more time covering some other exciting stocks, some of which we have talked about before, but also some new ones. And I'm getting some recommendations of things to look at. So again, you can send those to me here at Money and Politics Now at Gmail. In the meantime, I'll let you go. Have a wonderful Friday evening. Go out and hopefully... Enjoy the company of friends and family. And thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you maybe over the weekend, but certainly on Monday. All right. Take care. Until then.